Hi, this is Calvin Cox. It is Sunday, October 27th, 2013, and it is 4.35 p.m. Uh, what I want to talk about, and I want to keep it short, is um, states of matter. And this is, I think everybody who has gone to high school has, I'm quite sure, heard of this. For instance, water exists in three states, solid, liquid, and gas. And then, uh, let's say for instance, even in liquid steel, you could it could be solid, you can heat it and liquefy it, and if it get, goes hot enough, some of it will go off even in a gaseous state. And if you heat it even more than that, it would be in a plasma state where the uh, atoms, the bonds, would want to come completely apart uh, between the proton and electron. Um, now, what I want to do is propose, uh, I thought it was Einstein, I'm not going to guarantee this, I thought it was Einstein that proposed the fourth state of matter is a plasma. Um, and Einstein died, I think it was 1955, and I don't know if they were doing any cryogenic stuff back in 1955. Otherwise, I believe Einstein would have proposed, or whoever it was, would have proposed another state of matter. I'm proposing two more states of matter. Uh, I'm proposing that the fifth state of matter goes in the other way, from being ultra-hot being a plasma to ultra-cold being cryogenic. And uh, the reason I'm claiming that uh, the fifth state of matter would be cryogenic is because the matter behaves really, really weird, completely different. Many elements, when compounds when you get them down and super cold minus hundreds of degrees or like even to absolute zero uh, liquid helium I think is the coldest I think that's minus 454 degrees Fahrenheit uh, real close to that number anyway a lot of things behave very bizarre in other words you can have a beaker of something with a liquid and when it's cooled really cold. I think it's almost absolute zero. The liquid in the beaker will actually climb the wall and start flowing up out of the... It's like it's defying gravity. Uh, I, I don't understand that. So, I'm claiming that the fifth state of matter would be, super cold would be the cryogenic state of matter. And then I'm going to further claim that the sixth state of matter would be nanoparticles. Uh, that one, this sixth state might be borderline, but I'm claiming it because they're finding that one layer thick of atoms, one to two layers thick of atoms, their, I believe it's their electrical structure, it's not bound and wound in or folded against other parts of the same matter, so that it kind of balances out its electrical forces. Uh, so when you stretch them out super, super thin, because they're not bound now, they actually are much more interactive with other materials in a different way than they normally would be. So I'm claiming that's also a different state of matter. The fifth one would be cryogenic, ultra-cold, where things behave ultra weird compared to other higher temperatures and I'm also claiming that nanoparticles behave 
very strangely. That's when you physically, you know, force them into super small or compose them by some method into super thin layers. So, um, I think the most challengeable of the fifth and sixth would be the sixth. That might come down to splitting hairs upon definitions of certain words, which I do believe a lot of other people are a hell of a lot better at that than me, but I'm still claiming the number six is nanoparticles that behave way different from anything mankind has known previous to the discovery of the nanoparticle world. Let's put it that way. So that's why I claim it's a sixth state also. Thank you.